Ciao ragazzi and welcome to another video with Lampis. How do we survive long distance relationship? And why are we even talking about this? Ale and myself have always been like an on and off long distance relationship for as long as we have been together. Even three years in a marriage, Ale still spent really most of the time during the summer, if not all the summer, in Italy. How I feel about long distance relationship, how do we survive long distance relationship and some tips and advices for long distance relationships or marriage because for us now it's no longer just a relationship, it's also a marriage. I would want to sit here and say I'm doing all right but it, it is very difficult like we have been doing this for eight years and I think every single year towards the end of the summer we like no it's not happening ever again but yeah we're still here so it's still happening and the first few days are very 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 difficult I just get I feel out of place I feel confused I went to the gym two times yesterday. I, I would never do that. And I also went to the gym the day before yesterday. And I'm also going to go to the gym today. <laughs> I'm just trying to first find something, like cover up all that free space that or free time that I had to usually just spend time with Ali, going to our favorite restaurant, going for a run in the morning or things like that. I would still go for a run in the morning, but I don't know. I don't even feel motivated, so I didn't, I didn't do, didn't go for a run this year. And Ali is now going to fly for the first time back home. Um, you know, toy, toy, toy. Toy, toy, Keep toy. your hands disinfected. Yes, <laughs> yes. I gave him like a bottle of disinfectant, some wipes, yeah, tissues, I have mask, mask. Also, like the one with a filter. Thank you to Happy. If you're watching, we appreciate the package that you sent us with this beautiful mask, and they're actually really good quality one. It's not like the one that you just make with a cloth and wear. We're still using those, and Alice mm -hmm. now going to take to get on the plane with one yeah so i'm just like um going to drop him off at the airport but he has to drive to the airport he has to drive to the airport because it's like 5 a.m in the morning and i'm just i'm half it's asleep. already like really it looks like it's seven i don't know the light outside is crazy it's it, crazy it's because you never you usually don't leave the house this early but when I go to work, it's it, like if I leave home at 6 or 6.30, yeah. it kind of feel like already 9 during the summer. And, and I love it because there's sunlight until um, until about, I would say, 9.30. Mm -hmm. So it's just really nice. Although after lunch, it's less likely that one is productive because you just want to go out and eat a gelato. Yeah, yeah Ali has left for the summer. To Italy. I'm I'm saying we've been doing this for about eight nine eight years now. This is how long we've been together, and I really just wanted to come here and share with you how do we survive the time that we spend apart. Before we get to there. If you are new to this channel, give us a like, subscribe, and guys, always leave a comment. It's nice and sweet. I would also like to hear from you. Are there people here that are probably married and in a long distance relationship? Or is it really like we are doing something super strange? So the thing is, I would also love to go to Italy during the summer. Like for real, food is nice, weather is nice. It's like being on vacation for free. You have more living space amazing but i cannot because i have like a normal job where i go to work every single day and for ali is like oh you know like when you are freelancing you just do whatever you want to do whenever you want to do but this is not really about that of course i know that ali preferred to spend summer in italy but this also during the summer his parents need a little bit more help from him like just working in the field and keeping everything in order because they have like a farm and 
every single year, like last year we thought, okay, that is definitely going to be the last time we're doing this. <sighs> but yeah, here we are again a year later, we're still doing the same thing. So hopefully like in the future, we're going to be together, together, together and together. Yeah, and, and, and if I just have to be honest with you, it's always very difficult. And I feel like, part of me feel like every time Ali moves away, it just sends our relationship a step backward. Like when it comes to three months later after the summer and we've come together and we meet and it's like starting a new relationship. From, it's also exciting, obviously, because you haven't seen each other. You miss each other a lot and you, you feel more love for each other after three months. But it's very difficult. Takes me sometimes to to kind of get used to being alone again and yep. then eventually like I just become lumpy for lumpy like if you get what I'm saying like I just start doing my own thing by myself alone focusing on things that I enjoy going to the fitness program only that I would do by myself and maybe with some girlfriends and and I enjoy that. The bad part though is that when Ale comes back three months later like I've said I have I, I always feel like I've become I've, like you have kind of become a single person and then I would still again need time to, to go back to our routine as a couple. This is now if I'm going to the gym, I'll have to say, oh, do you want to go to the gym? Like, I don't know. Just to, to you have to change your fitness program, your weekend program a bit. And it takes me some time. And that's where I feel like the relationship always a set back. So let's move on to the tips and some tricks. So what do we do? I think the most important thing when you're in a distance relationship is obviously trust and communication. If you don't have trust, it's not going to work. You have to trust each other. Now to make matters worse, especially in our case, every time like I'm calling Ale, his friend is always picking up with the, like with the ladies where it's like hey lampy it's you know it's probably like uh i was talking to him yesterday let me say around 10 or 11 and then this his best friend called it was like hey lampy i don't know who are you like who are you and something always making this kind of joke but i and and i get irritated but that's what i'm talking about you need trust you just definitely need to know like you if you have trust and that trust you should build during the time that you're together you can't build it when you're far away mm -hmm. i would say first is really trust and communication trust is something that i think for us as a couple you need to air need or show your partner that you're trustworthy during the time that you spend together and for us that is really important and then communication also like most of the things you're doing, you can communicate about everything. That's also annoying. <laughs> and for me, that's also annoying. Sometimes I feel like if you're not here, you're not here. I just do my thing. But you have to communicate as often as possible. But at the same time, like I would just complain to Ali all the time. I don't want to be on the phone all the time. Even if I'm bored at home, I just don't want to be like, yeah, you are away, you are away. I can't be on the phone all the time. But it's important that you communicate. So if you like Skype and stuff, maybe do Skype. We don't know nothing of that. Nothing like that. We could just do WhatsApp or voice messages, which I think works very well. Just to update each other what you're up to during the day or during the weekend. Oh, yeah. Another tip I would say is, beside communication and trust, it's you obviously have to set boundaries that you usually go by as a couple when you're together, they should still be there because you're still a couple even though you're not living apart. So things that you have said before is boundaries, like this is off for us, then it should also, you shouldn't do those things when you're not together. Now, I'm trying to think what is a boundary for us. I think is obviously you want to be faithful and there's no reason to not to be faithful just because the best, it's not a reason for you, for your partner to not to be faithful just because you're far away from each other because you're still in a relationship and this is why it's called a distance relationship. You still, you're still 100% in a relationship. 
So those point, like those limits still have to be there. Now, this other tip that I really, really love and I think it, I enjoy it very well is like surprise visit. Like just, you know, I like it when it's Friday evening, I haven't planned really anything or like Thursday evening, I haven't planned anything and I just feel like, let me check what is easy to up to. I will just book and go to, <laughs> to Italy. I don't think this time is going to work because of course there was quarantine before and I think now I don't know if there are those spontaneous flying anymore, but back in the day we did that and I think it's really nice when I would just call Al and say, well, I'm at Fimicino, it's just exciting. And, and and I think that's where also trust play a role because, and, and I think that's where also trust comes in. Now, if I show up, if I was texting Ali the whole day saying I'm at home or whatever and I, I don't want to show up at the airport and he is, 200 kilometers away from home that would piss me off but so I I love this and every, whenever I did it, it it was nice and we didn't have any danger that the person was not in the house and Ali also do it sometimes show up here and just say you know I'm walking from the train station or oh, I'm at the train station come pick me up and I, those I think they're really enjoyable and that's something that we usually don't have um, time for when we are living together my favorite thing about long distance relationship and i think this is also a tip that i would really just give to everybody who is in distance relationship when you meet like if you decide okay you're going to visit each other for a weekend just really make sure that the time you spend together is just for the two of you like keep your phones away I mean, we also do YouTube, but I think those are the weekends where you say, keep YouTube away. Or oh, the whole weekend you have 30 minutes to work on YouTube, but otherwise you want to make sure that you have quality time, just really for you. I, I, it's not all quality time here. It doesn't always mean intimacy. Of course, intimacy is part of that, but I think here you also just want to know that that weekend your partner listens to you and have time to go eat ice with you like you have to cancel everything with your friends because you had obviously all the time by yourself you can go with your friends wherever you want to go but this time now it's us and this weekend is only us and i love that because when we are living together we usually don't really get so much of that time we are always like i'm gonna go to work or whatsoever but when we're not living together the moments the weekends the days we visit each other they are just valuable and i think we got really amazing quality time and i really really love that i think it's also important and for us we try to also do this always important to stay also respectful i get a lot i feel really stressful especially the first few days when ali leaves and i want to complain or i complain all the time but and a lot of arguments also come up because you're just stressful. I complain a lot. Unnecessary argument because I'm just stressed. And I think here I always try to keep it very respectful. Like I know that he would also want to spend time with me here. But this is not happening at the moment. So I try, even if we're having some argument, I, the last thing I want to do is insult my partner for no reason just because i'm under this stress so i just really try to remain respectful even though we are not living together we are still always we're still in a marriage we let me hear from your the comment section how do you think about this video because usually the person who do all the technical stuff around youtube is ale and when he's not here uh, i can't really record a nice video like before because i don't know how to do the set up the camera techniques and lightings and so on and i feel like everybody in my household is feeling alice absence like also my plants because usually ali wakes from home make sure that the plants are watered every single afternoon and when he's not here i think <laughs> it has not been i think it's been about a week but I, I just found that this plant is slowly dying. So a little bit pissed. I'll try to take care of that. 